guys, welcome to Wellbeing Bean to Cup Coffee Comparisons. We are excited as specialty coffee roasters to help you guys make the right decision on Bean to Cup. We've been running an office coffee business for the past six years, and we've learned the hard way of which machines to use and what settings and which not. So today you're gonna to learn the to do's and to don'ts with Bean to Cup. We're gonna look at two machines, the Dejan Dut Zia, versus the Bun Sure Immersion 312, formerly known as the Starbucks Serenade Machine. So, hope you enjoy it. All right, so let's look at the specs based on the machine. We're gonna start with the Zia. So the Zia is 35 inches tall, unless you have the extended hoppers, and it can go up to 41 inches. So no cabinets overhead is a must. Um, also, this machine is 17 inches wide, but one thing you need to make sure you have room for is an additional three inches for when the door opens. So you need 20 inches, and it fits on any regular countertop. If you don't have countertop space, you can add a base cabinet and make it freestanding. Okay, so the bun is a little bit wider. You can see it's a little more large and in charge, but that's great because you're gonna be able to have a larger screen, which we'll talk about in a minute. And so it's 20 inches wide. Uh, it fits on a normal counter and it's the same height. This one's showing the hoppers, uh, so that's gonna be about 41 inches tall. So again, neither of these you're gonna be able to have under a cabinet, but on a countertop, the difference is the bun does not have a base cabinet option, so you have to have enough counter room for it. So let's take a look inside the Zia. So you'll notice that there are two whole bean hoppers and they each have their own grinder, which is great. So that way you don't mix the two. But then we need decaf for a third option. So if you open the door, it has a canister, but it's pre-ground, which I don't love because it's not quite as fresh. But again, uh, not as many people will go with the decaf option. There are also three powder canisters. So in, in the Zia, you can do a chocolate, a milk and a French vanilla. Some people do chai tea as well. So you have lots of options between three coffees and three powders. So now let's take a look inside the bun, sure immersion. So you'll notice there are three hoppers up top and you can have three whole bean coffee. Now it goes to one actual grinder. So it's a little bit of a con here because if you're doing decaf, you're grinding and there might be some extra grounds from some of the caffeinated coffee. So it might not be 100% decaf. So that's one con, but you get three whole beans. So it's kind of give or take. You're gonna have two powder options. The good thing about these is they're larger, so you don't have to refill quite as often but the only problem is you're missing one powder canister compared to the Zia, so you would have to forego a milk or one of the flavor powders. The Zia is going to brew with a different style than the bun. The Zia is an espresso-based brewing system through their Coex Brewer. So that, all that means is it's gonna brew through higher pressure and it's gonna brew the espresso shots a little quicker. And for coffee itself, it's espresso with hot water. So rather than drip coffee, like a lot of us drink at home, it's more of what we call an Americano. The bun does it a little bit different where actually you can't get any espresso out of this machine. It's all drip coffee. So it's gonna take a little bit longer, maybe up to a minute per cup, where the Zia, you can do espresso and some of the specialty drinks in 20 to 30 seconds. All right, the Zia has a cup holder standard or you can lift it up um, to have a little bit more clearance. The problem is you still can't fit a larger travel mug there. So this is something that definitely the bun is a little bit more robust and a taller uh, cup can fit in here and also you can fill a cup up to 24 ounces. Another really nice feature is the bun has ambient water and hot water. So if you're trying to choose between a nicer coffee machine or water filtration, you can combine the two with the bun, but also bonus feature is it's ADA approved. The Zia has a 10.4 inch touchscreen display that can show pictures and videos if it's connected to Wi-Fi. It has three different drink categories, so coffee and espresso only based drinks, specialty drinks, as well as flavored. So if let's say we go to an Americano, you can choose from light roast, dark roast, or decaf, and there's five different strength levels that will go up by 10% or down by 10% with each click. And then there are three cup sizes, eight, 10, and 12. For the Zia, 12 is the max that you will be able to brew at once. There's also a cup sensor, so if you do not have a cup there, you won't be able to hit start. For specialty drinks, we have the Cafe Mocha. And you can do the same, pick the type of bean that you want in there, the size, as well as the strength. For the flavored drinks, we have some non-coffee flavors. 
So you can do French vanilla, which is basically a hot chocolate, but with French vanilla powder. And again, choose your cup size. You can also do a jug. So the jug menu, if you wanna go through and do a carafe of coffee, you can do 30 ounces of regular coffee or a blend. You can even do hot chocolate, French vanilla, or hot water. Most carafes are gonna hold 60 ounces, so you would need to do any of these twice through. And that's gonna take you about five minutes, so not super fast, but it is available. Another great feature is you can have multiple drink options. So you have the three categories, but a ton of subcategories. If you want to page down, you can offer multiple types of drinks under each category. And something else that's really cool, let's say we do a cafe latte and we want 10 ounces and we want a little less strength with dark roast. If I hit start, it's going to display a number selection. So anytime I want to go back, I would type in 8472 and it would go and make that exact drink. The Sure Immersion touchscreen is 17 inches, much larger, very intuitive and easy to use. You have eight different drink options here. When you click one of them, you're going to have five different drink sizes versus the Zia that has three. And you can also leave room for cream. The only difference here with strength is you can only click bold versus the Zia where you can have five different levels of strength to the machine. The bun has a very intuitive recipe menu and ways to set up customizations. So you can go in and enable any of the coffee and drinks that you would like. You can increase the amount of room that you would want to be left or even the boldness of the cup and save. And it's super easy to customize your different recipes. So is a bean to cup right for your office? Well, let's take a look at a few things. How many employees do you have? Generally, these machines are placed at 50 plus employee offices, but if you have a Keurig and a pod type machine with 25 employees or more, either of these machines could be a fit for you cost wise. What type of cost are we looking at? Generally, you will use about 10 to 14 grams of coffee per cup. So you're looking at anywhere from 25 to 45 cents per cup for coffee and espresso, and the specialty drinks will range around 60 cents per cup. So as you can see, both of these machines are fantastic. They have different bells and whistles, and it really just comes down to what's right for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was informative and you'd like to see other videos on coffee, office coffee service, or bean to cup, then please subscribe to our channel. And we'd love it if you give us a thumbs up or a comment below. Thanks so much.